check the description box below and don't forget to hit that like button. Hello guys and goddesses, Coco here with your Coco from the Dark podcast where we connect with the most high, our emotions, and the innermost parts of ourselves that tries to elude us at every turn. This is a space of not only connecting and healing, but also to give you the confirmations and the answers that you've been seeking. So thank you so much for being here with me and thank you for being willing to connect with you. Namaste. As soon as I picked up my deck, I heard it's time for the percolator. It's time for the percolator. <laughs> so I don't know if that was a song from In Your Day, one of your favorite songs from back then, or you learned how to do splits, or you were uh, doing splits again, stretching, something like that. But <laughs> that song definitely came up for you. Also, there's been a lot of uh, chakra energy going around. So I feel like someone is gaining the confidence or gaining the um, trying to get the right words to say to speak up to someone. So anyway, so the next messages that I got, well, actually, these are the first messages. I got these messages first. They downloaded it, downloaded it. (laughs) They downloaded earlier and, you know, I wrote them down in my, you know, downloads book and um, the message messages that I received just a second ago were just direct channelings as I was connecting to the collective. So anyway, the first messages was were love messages. OK, so it says someone has imprinted onto you. And the Twilight movies came up, you know, when Jacob, the the wolf pack, you know, when they imprint onto someone that they love or they're connected to, you know, it's it's for life. Then I heard Moby Dick and Jonah's Whale and also Shark Week or something about sharks. I heard to Google the spiritual meaning of whales and sharks (coughs) and um, some other downloads I came up with are wisdom, spiritual strength, good luck and fortune, and unconditional love. And that's giving like, if you know tarot, it's giving like four of wands type of energy. I've been feeling that energy a lot within the collective. I also heard spiritual protection. And then I heard the word Akashic. Then I heard Akashic records. So someone is dreaming about their past life. You're dreaming about it, meditating about it, or it's like maybe you watch something or hear something and it like sparks a memory that you didn't know that you had. Um, you could have been male and female in different past past lives. You could have been all of the nationalities, all species of creatures, even those hitherto unknown to this planet. And that specific phrase came up hitherto unknown to this planet and that's um a quote from little shop of horrors and i think it was john candy yeah during the interview with seymour so seymour rick moranis and the song feed me seymour (laughs) are significant 222 may be significant as well so those are the messages that i downloaded earlier um they seem to be very specific to a specific set of people I'm even getting the um taken. He was like, I have a particular set of skills. I feel like you have like this very particular set of skills or you're just really gifted in a certain area. Step forward with the step into the light. Now is the time is what I'm hearing. For some of you, I'm hearing that you are about to give birth or there is about to be some sort of newness within your family, family dynamic. Maybe you're going to be meeting someone, getting married, getting pregnant, or maybe um, you are just, excuse me, thank you. You are just creating a legacy for your family. That could be the rebirth that... um, 
is coming up in the energy. So snakes may be significant and the shedding of the skin. So what I got for the shedding of the skin, and I just saw three, four, five, is um, when snakes shed their skin, it's a tra transformation, right? And I'm pretty sure you, you're shedding a layer of yourself. So it's got to be uncomfortable, maybe even painful. And sometimes that's how transformations are with us as well. Even when we're elevating, there could be moments of discomfort or dis-ease where we have to like make sure our faith is strengthened, make sure we're grounded in our beliefs, grounded in ourselves and our confidence within ourselves and grounded in what it is that we want to move forward to. I feel like this is a time of receptivity, rest, relaxation, and connecting with the self. I'm, I keep hearing something about inner child, playing with the inner child, inner child play, allowing the inner child to create and be them, uh, be themselves. Like some things that maybe you used to do back in the day where it was, you know, very creative energy. You don't do it anymore. So I even hear that it's something a lot of people don't know that you have a gift in. I'm hearing to touch, you know, touch bases with that. Connect with that energy. Touch bases feels like a significant phrase as well. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a whole lot of a whole lot of shaking going on with it. It's a whole lot of throat chakra energy being activated at this time. I feel like a lot of people are about to start speaking up, especially energies from your past or energies from your past life. It just really depends on what energy you are in. Are you healing? Are you in the healing phase? Or are you still like in a stagnant area? If you're stagnant, it's going to be um, people from your past and if you're healing it's going to be people from your past lives so what that will look like is new people who feel like home who feel comfortable i also feel as though there's going to be some scamming type of energy coming in so be mindful of that i'm hearing something about especially when you're accepting brand deals or when you are connecting with people, with clients or people that you want to work with or want to work with you. I'm hearing take the chance, take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid. Don't be surprised if she asks where the cash is. I don't know. That's where it came up. Something about uh, lobster or crab legs, seafood or sea creatures. We are connecting to the horned animals again. So more spirit animal energy. Lions, badgers, raccoons may be significant. I'm even hearing squirrels, spiders, spider webs, butterflies, flowers dangling long dangling earrings or hair pieces hearing something about birthdays leos virgo of course where are we either in virgo season or about to be i don't know i feel like you're stepping into some sort of power some sort of spiritual power or even like physical power where maybe you are gaining rank, getting a promotion. Or if you are an entrepreneur, you're like stepping out onto the scene, stepping into the limelight. I feel like some, um, what is it called? Some um, imposter syndrome. I, every time I try to think of the word, sometimes ego comes up and then, you know, it'll have to click. But imposter syndrome might be coming up for you when all of this abundance is coming in. Like you may be overwhelmed, but just remember you're powerful. You can handle it. You can handle anything. If you can handle the bad, you most definitely can handle the good. I mean, come on. Give yourself some credit. Believe in you. 
Remember how far you've come. Remember where you've come from. You got this. I hear forward movement. Something is about to be revealed to you. Something's about to be illuminated. I'm hearing something about that, that super blue moon. Something very significant happened around that time or is um, going into motion. It is coming into motion during that time. Like some sort of, it was some sort of detonation or activation that happened during the full moon for you. Very positive. Very, 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 very <laughs> positive. Be very, very quiet. I don't know. Maybe it's something that you may have to um, keep to yourself for a little while. I'm hearing there are going to be like some secret moves. People are going to be moving and your place is going to be secret or it needs to be secret. Not giving out your new address or your new information. Or being mindful who you do give it out to. For some of you, make sure you tell people who you want to give your new information to. Make sure you tell them not to share it. Non-disclosure. Yeah, for some of you, you may need to get people to sign an NDA. I just saw 10, 10. 10, 10, 10 across the board. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get some love messages or we got some more here. Yeah, okay, we're getting that rest and relaxation. Take care of yourself. I feel like this this weekend, chill out. Enjoy the Labor Day weekend. Labor Day is for people to, to take a break, to rest. If you have the time off, take that time off. Don't use this time to do some projects that you've been working on. Don't use it to do anything besides rest. This is your time to rest. You can find time another weekend or another holiday to do, you know, other things that you've been meaning to do. But this is time to rest because you need to be in receptive mode. I've been picking up on that energy very heavily to be in receptive mode, to speak it into existence, to think about it before you go to bed. Think about it when you wake up, write about it in your journal, do some voice memos, some voice notes, recordings or something where you're speaking about it, talking about it, saying it in a mirror, whatever you need to do to connect. I feel like it's some people in your family, tight knit group. I'm even hearing like sorority, fraternity, job. Or just some people in your neighborhood that they they don't have your best intentions at heart. So that that message is so prominent. I just I, I <laughs> it just comes up every time. You just gotta be mindful. You gotta pay attention, and you gotta pay attention to the signs. Don't ignore the signs, okay? Don't ignore the dreams or anything like that. Even if you dream of someone harming you but you feel like they would never harm you in this reality think about it like this in another lifetime they did exactly what you dreamt they did that's why you are not meant to be connected with them in this lifetime because they, they messed up in another lifetime and they are receiving their karma <laughs> and for those of you and you know it's not past life it's this this life and this is a past person, they're reaping some sort of karma. They're going through some hard times, but they don't want you to know about it. They, they're not showing you. They're hoping you don't find out. They're putting up this facade. And I'm hearing something about projecting as well. So what I'm, what I'm picking up on is they're projecting your energy, but onto themselves. Like what you're feeling, they want you to think that that's how they feel, but they, they feel the total opposite. I feel like you are healed. You're feeling good. You are connected, motivated. You just, the only thing you're lacking is rest. <laughs> rest and creating. I'm hearing create. There's some, some sort of goal you need to set. Go on and set that goal. And set the deadline for it as well. 
I'm hearing that phrase, scared money don't make no money, but I don't feel like that message is all is for I don't feel like that for everyone that message is money. I feel like taking risks is also, you know, non financial risks. <laughs> if you're afraid, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Something is definitely being revealed. Let me know. Let me know what's up. Cause I, I ain't gonna say I'm nosy, but I just want to know. Because this is beautiful energy. And I love celebrating people. So let us celebrate you. Let me celebrate you at least. You can either leave it in the comments or email me. And let me know because I love hearing about how these messages resonate with you guys. It means a lot to me and it feels so good to know that you're doing so well and you're being gentle with yourself. So let's get to the love messages. Make sure you drink your water. Please drink your water. I'm here for some of you. Drink something hot in the mornings or before bed or whenever you get a chance to. At least once a day for seven days. Okay, so for the love messages. We picked up earlier where, ooh, where someone has imprinted on you, right? So... I feel as though there's this energy of needing to release from who you think this person is that's coming in for you. I feel like you know someone's coming in or you're praying for some, someone to come in, but you're expecting for this person to look a certain way or to be a certain way. And this person is going to be so much more than you imagine because you're not, I don't know, you're not looking at the grander scheme of things. This person is not only going to benefit you in a positive way, but you guys are going to link up in a way where you're going to benefit a lot of people in your connection, with your connection. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of alone time together. Very much needed alone time where you get to connect with one another. And even if you are not with anyone right now, I feel like there's something that you're doing that is calling this person in for you. Even if you're just loving on yourself, healing yourself, you're still calling this person in to you. You're becoming a, mag a magnet for, I'm hearing, a like-minded individual. It's like all of the things that you went through in your past, <laughs> you healed from it. And when you meet this person, you're going to know that this person was worth waiting for. It's like you're going to feel blessed that it didn't work out with these past people because then you would have never met this person. And things could have been good in your past with other people. But this person, this is unmatched. This is a soulmate. Someone has very deep romantic feelings for you. Someone who you have not, you are not speaking to, have not spoken to, have not met yet. Someone who is in your energy, but not in your presence. I hear someone wants to give you the world. You, I'm hearing that you're the person that they've been waiting for. You've been waiting for each other. You've been healing and growing for each other. You've been praying for one another. You've been connecting in the spiritual wor world and the dream realm. I'm even seeing someone like in the dream realm, the, in astral travels, you guys are like fighting battles. You are on a, a special elite <laughs> team where you're warriors together. You're like teammates in other dimensions, in other realms. Or this energy is just very protective over you. They want the best for you. Yeah. Someone wants to love you so deeply. Someone, someone wants to give you flowers. They want to bless you. Ooh, they want to bless you. I'm here and they want to bless and anoint you. They, they want to help you to heal things. They want to help you to grow and reach your 
potential, even though they already think very highly of you, they know that together you both can accomplish sky's limits type of things. Sky is the limit. Oh, yes, most definitely. <laughs> yeah, so that's your message. I send you all so much love and light, so much encouragement. Don't forget to drink your water and stay connected with those emotions. Um, <laughs> I was going to say drink your water again. So somebody, did, you need to drink more water. You need to get some more water in your diet. You need to connect with water, take some spiritual baths, something. You need to get, get water in your diet more heavily or in your spiritual practices more heavily or in your meditative practices just get you some water <laughs> get around some water love and light to you be grateful namaste